Alrighty, so we have a construction update today. A um, lot was done just today alone. So um, as you can see here in the storage lot, two lift hill pieces are heading on into the park and I'll explain a little later on in the video why that is. But two lift hill pieces are heading on in. Um, you'll probably see some green columns heading on in in the next couple days as well, probably tomorrow. Um, and the yellow massive heavy duty crane is back on site and that'll probably be installed and put back together tomorrow for a big project of this coaster to be done by next Tuesday. So, as you can see, the drop is about three quarters of the way done. Actually, it's more than three quarters of the way done because the holding brake um, angle and then that that connects is actually really steep. It's not gradual like a pull out of a coaster drop. So you'll see that go in, but that's not gonna go in next because one would ask, what's gonna hold it up? Well, um, in terms of how this coaster project's gonna progress, it's a little different than Val Raven. So you're going to actually see column seven go in next um, and you're going to see the lift hill completed all the way up to column seven. And then the two cranes will work together um, to complete the rest of the coaster. In fact, I actually think they need both the cranes for the remainder of this coaster because you kind of have to hold in one section of the coaster um, while the other one helps uh, bring in another section to connect it. That's the only problem with B&Ms and, and other coasters that have less supports now. Uh, it does make it harder to construct, but it definitely um, is a lot more beautiful. Um, and it just makes more sense to have less supports because the coaster almost supports itself. Um, so Canada's Wonderland did post a blog post today, and it is my favorite blog post to date. So it's from Grace Peacock, um, the head of communications at Wonderland. I'm going to link it down below in the description uh, because you're going to want to go read it. It's packed with a lot of information and a lot of awesome pictures that no one has seen yet. So definitely go check it out. I'm going to showcase some of the pictures in here on uh, one of the angles of the screen. But... Um, so uh, for all of you uh, who know, Yukon Striker is a world record, world record breaking coaster. Um, it's 245 foot drop underwater tunnel. Um, and they are aiming to have this all completed, the construction of the coaster alone um, by the end of 2018. So December 2018, this coaster should be complete. That is their goal. Um, so they started construction back in January 28, uh, 2018 and they'll wrap up by uh, April 2019. That's including everything, including testing. Planning for the construction and uh, Frontier Canada and uh, Yukon Strikers started all the way back in 2014. Um, and uh, there's a lot of work that went into this. So this is one of their biggest projects yet, especially the tunnel. The tunnel was very costly and one of the biggest uh, logistically and from a time and cost point of view, the biggest part of the project. Um, Trying to look if there's any other information. Um, so, so they're just starting clearing near Timberwolf Falls. We already know that. There's much more still to come. More foundations will be cast. Columns and track will be erected. Electrical and pneumatic work will continue. Buildings will be constructed, including the loading station. Queue lines, the entrance and exit will be built. Landscaping and planting work will be done. Canopies, lighting and sound systems installed and all aspects of the coaster will go undergo comprehensive testing for several weeks to have it ready for the first public ride in April 2019. Um, so Wonderland is super excited about this. Again, I'm going to link the, the blog post down below. It's super, it's, it's definitely full of information. I didn't list off a lot of it. It's got some amazing pictures in there that you have not seen from this channel or anyone else over the winter um, while the tunnel was being constructed. Again, my favorite blog post to date written by Grace Peacock. Definitely go check it out. Give it a like and share it for others uh, to read. It's awesome. But yeah, just to, to sum up uh, what you're seeing on here. Uh, so uh, the drop is um, almost done. Work over in Timberwolf Falls is um, moving along nicely. Um, not much done, though. Again, Timberwolf Falls seems to be a very slow moving part of the construction project right now. Um, the lift hill and drop and everything should be completed by next Tuesday. Um, I do want to correct myself. So that white strip going up the right side of the coaster is not a ladder. So to correct myself again, I made a mistake. The little ladder looking thing going up the right side of, uh, Yukon Strikers lift hill is actually electrical. Um, so it's a little almost like what you could call a metal casting or a metal protection case that will enclose electrical work that goes up the lift hill for lighting, um, speakers, etc. Um, so that just protects it from the weather. So uh, thank you to everyone. I think two of you reached out to me to let me know what that actually was. Someone that actually works on Valraven at Cedar Point. 
um, and another person uh, that works in operations um, at Cedar Point. So thank you for letting me know that information. Um, again, as usual, if I ever mess up anything, let me know. I'm not a professional. Um, so yes, yeah, so that's what that is. The white strip going up Yukon Striker is actually for electrical. It's not a ladder. Um, and I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I'm missing here. Um, so the drop is really impressive, by the way. You can see it from any part of the uh, Jane, Major Mac, the 400 Highway. Um, <laughs> I'm trying to think of any other street that I'm missing, Jane, Major Mac, Rutherford. You can see it anywhere. Um, it, it's actually taller than the mountain now. Um, and this thing's going to look impressive. Again, in person, this coaster is gorgeous, and it's not even done yet. It, it really blends in with the area really well. Pictures are not doing it justice. I'm super excited for um, it to open next year. I cannot wait. It's going to be phenomenal. Again, I am buying an all-season fast lane just because of this coaster. So, um, again, super excited. 2019 is going to be an amazing season. We're going to be going to a lot of parks, um, and we're going to be here a lot, vlogging a lot. Um, and I couldn't be more excited with how the construction updates are taking off. Again, they're up at 6,000 views now for a construction updates. So thank you to everyone who's been sharing our construction updates, enjoying our construction updates, hitting that like button. Um, subscribe if you haven't, by the way, if you've just been uh, an occasional visitor. Uh, subscribing definitely helps out. Um, every little bit of support helps out. We are looking into a winter-prone drone for filming, also with uh, a better photography and videography. So uh, definitely supporting us in any way, going to our Patreon, uh, watching the video, sharing the video helps in any way. So thanks so much, guys. Hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't, and share this video for others to enjoy. And as usual, thanks for watching our construction updates, guys. They're only going to get better. Have a good one, guys. Bye.